genius uh, for the wonderful opportunity they were given to students and that was CSE department to explore industries, how they are functioning. So as a part of you know, Women and Digital Council Entrepreneurship, you know, we always look at entrepreneurs and the startups, how they kickstart and especially aspiring entrepreneurs because until unless they visit industries, they understand. So what are the you know, problem, problem statements in one end and how they can you know, in future think about it. So it's a wonderful opportunity. As a founder director, I am very happy when they approached me and we are fortunate enough, Craft Soya product, uh, you know, they have been for the decade of experience they have and you know, they, have, they have varied uh, uh, food products and especially next year being a millet year, I think so this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for the students to explore how millets can be part of their you know, food uh, on a regular basis. And we have uh, Sriram Muthingaru and of course his uh, leadership team and uh, you know he helps all the startups how they kickstart start even for the women and the students and of course uh, you know advisory member. What's the progress? So progress is tremendous. Initially, as I told you, that uh, we have planned to reach a particular segment of population in Hyderabad. That was our primary target. But thereafter, it keeps on changing. So we have launched our products only uh, soya milk products. Then market uh, requirement, the potentiality has gone up with addition of millet to that. So we should go as per the requirement of the market. So market needs millet based products. Then we have extended our scope to force based products. Like that, we have added the product range. Now, the target audience now customer from Hyderabad is grown up beyond that. Now, we have, we have reached a stage where we are exporting to various countries. We are exporting to US, we are exporting to Sweden, we are exporting to UK, and uh, shortly we will be exporting to Australia. Uh, now, I'd like you to specify the position and you've seen the growth. Of products. So now, who are your competitors? Currently, who are your competitors? And um, what makes you like succeed over them? What makes you take over the time? Exact uh, head to head competitors are not there. Because we see competitor means somebody who is also making similar products, monster right. based products like that. Mm -hmm. uh, as such, in market, I don't find anybody who is making exclusively soya based products. There are a couple of products uh, who make money. Uh, tofu manufacturers are there, which I am not making. Mm -hmm. Then uh, soya based tents are made, I am not making those things. And the head to head competition is not there, but the substitute products also become your competitors. Money, those who are making with millets, uh, snacks are there, people are making with millets. And uh, likewise, everybody will have an idea behind that. So, if Murku is there or Budia is there, which are made up of only flour or uh, the basin or with millets or anything. So, that becomes a competition to our competitive product to you. So, like that, we have competition, enough competition in the market. But once a customer tastes our product, definitely it become addictive to our product. That is the advantage because we don't uh, adulterate any of the raw materials or in making the product. So exclusively genuine products will be there in that. So once you taste that particular product, you will get the flavor of that item. So that is the success of our uh, product. And the certification also matters, I remember when you have. So they do have the certification for the food. Okay, okay. So I think that is a unique point. That yes. Okay. I mean, apart from being tasty, it's also like certified. So the special feature of our product is that we don't reuse oil yeah. okay. any of our products because these are all fried in oil in mm -hmm. the snack items. So oil is not reused. Once it is taken, it's end of the story. Then it's taken. Okay. So, and how are you currently tackling? So we, there are any number of ups and downs right from the beginning. So as far as uh, marketing is concerned, we have a number of challenges. As I was telling you about, so if I want to go to a modern trade, so the charges there are very high. So a small organization cannot pay those, those charges. So that is one biggest challenge. 
So without uh, the support of modern trade, you have to promote your product. That is the challenge. Then thereafter, uh, the natural phenomena like COVID. We have suffered a lot during COVID. Okay? There is no market as well. So we have to shut down or literally we have to shut down. So that kind of challenge is happening. So every time, every now and then, so we face this kind of challenge. See recently export. Export, uh, it was going on very well. And in the, uh, the Russia war, again, uh, again uh, because of that, oil prices have gone up. And uh, gone up to the extent of uh, 100%. So in the abroad market, they will not revise your prices immediately. If you want to supply the product there, you have to supply it plus. And that plus will be huge. So you should not be, you should be in a position to sustain that plus. So we have sustained for some time, but not beyond that. We can stay beyond that. So we have to stop uh, exporting snacks for some period. So these kind of challenges are there every time. Then we learn certain things from them. So now uh, we have been exporting about 80-85% of our capacity. Now we have learned a lesson where uh, so that uh, we have to keep our market uh, proportion that balance it is 60-40 or 50-50, yeah. local market 50% abroad 50% like that. So these are all the things uh, with experience only we will be learning. Always there is a possibility for normalcy but you know of course there is a lot of worries. Yes. So any current challenges? Current challenge is that only. Okay. Uh, I told you know, about the oil price. So that's why uh, yeah, suddenly we have stopped. So that means more than 80% uh, of your capacity utilization has come down. So now we have to refill that gap. So we are trying to refill gap, uh, that gap with the uh, local market as well as other products uh, where we, uh, we can export. Uh, apart from uh, snacks, we are exporting other products. So there, there is no. Uh, so we have to use it to search for. Yes. You just can't stop. Uh, so being an entrepreneur, you should always be you know, ready with the option B as well. You just can't be. You know, it's not there. Then what's next? Mm -hmm. How important is idea for startup? And how important is planning? Like, uh, which one would you would you prefer? Suppose we are trying to come in a business where there are already existing products and you are also trying to enter that market. Uh, will you still be able to like, come out with profits or should we go for something very innovative and yeah. out of the box? Definitely. What is your first, the first question uh, which you asked is how important is an idea? Idea. Idea is the backbone of the Idea is the backbone of Without idea, what you are going to do? So you should have some idea. So I am going to do this. I am uh, good at this. So I can do some wonders in this. So basically, this is a, a thing which you require, you need. So without an idea, nothing can be done. Anything, anything can be developed on idea only. So your business planning. The next question, what you have asked is planning. How important is planning? Once you have an idea, so that idea shows show you the way, a route map, or first you will be targeting some goal. What is that you are going to do? You have an idea, I wanted to do this. Then you should have the next question. So after doing this, where is the association between Sasaya products and uh, women?
सो वेरी आई क्रिएट एड कम्प्लीटली डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म यू नो बहुत से ग्रुप्स वेर यू नो यू हैव मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्रुप सो वेर द मार्केटिंग हैपन्स इन दैट मेजोरिटी टाइम एज वेल ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इज मोर हेल्पफुल सो विमेन इन विमेन काउंसिल इज लिटिल डिफरेंट वेर यू नो वी लुक एट पीपल दे हैव अ फिजिकल अवेलेबल स्टोर्स आर यू लुक एट समन यू नो दे डोंट हैव दे हैव मैन टच इन सेलिस but they don't have any store where they can sell right that is that's the biggest task i think creating marketing event is the biggest task because you know even if they want to go to a supermarket or set up a store they need to have a big you know, infrastructure so i was thinking let me pinpoint there and help there that is one thing and you know we have to be you know given mission be you know part of like i can reach all communities and ask that they expose we can conduct recently we have been connected with like, an intimate as given in number shop For three months, three months, six stations. So that was one exposure. We believe in one thing: branding is more important because they've been in so many variants. But is it really reaching everyone? So I wanted to bridge, like you know, from women in general, we wanted to bridge that gap. And we are fortunate enough, uh, you know, is a flat soya product, like you know, yeah, yeah, who's the CEO of that? At the same time, we have such a you know experienced persons as a part of our advisory panel. We you know we can help students. And the women entrepreneurs who want to start, how they can get into Millet because next year we have Millet Bank, so how they can pitch it to that? How easy? So that's how it's working. Yeah. That's so maybe he will be in position to add, uh, and you know how it's uh, helpful to. Yeah, position. definitely. And uh, entrepreneur uh, will definitely look at marketing uh, potentials. How we can market our product? Because as I told you earlier, that we uh, we cannot advertise because we don't have those many funds to advertise in media and numbers. But still, we need to carry out our brand, brand promotion. The women in vision is an organization where it helps an entrepreneur like us. Now, as she said that Metro Day, so we have uh, kept our stalls there, set up our stalls, and we have promoted more than for more than three months. Thereafter, now uh, in Indian railways, they are uh, allowing us to set our stalls in various uh, railway stations, so where we can uh, promote our brand. Then social media. Uh, she is very good at promoting in social media, so that's an uh, excellent point. And uh, in women and the young person, there are about more than five thousand members. Students and all people. There are a number of groups are there, where in every group. We will be promoting your uh, ambassador groups. We will be promoting your products there, and there are a number of organizations there. They need our products, so she she will make the uh, vendor and people and meet and the connections, so that it will be helpful for us to put our product there and supplying our products there. So a number of users. Women and men, the women and men is a selfless organization. She is a selfless person, and, and she promotes every entrepreneur, every member of that particular organization. Like I said, you can't uh, express it in words. But at a micro level kind of entrepreneur, it is good. Thank you so much, and I, I appreciate you students as well. Because you know, they see your we are able to through you also. Gets into, so I look at uh, this itself as an example. How I want to promote my entrepreneurs, yes. so, because you know even if I have a small connectivity, I will try to connect to them because we never know there's a possibility. Yeah, wishing you all the best, and thank you so much, Shyamvir. You've given enough information actually. Like it's abundant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank we you. had a chance to learn a lot today, and like a first time uh, through direct primary data speaking. So I feel like now I'm more inspired <laughs> to consider entrepreneurship as an option. Thank you, and all the best to you. And you are welcome to have any questions in future also. You are most welcome to ask me anything.